change. We get all three stages of powered flight, and as the uh, dummy warhead and the and the package flew on down range, we were all celebrating the fact that we had uh, seen the thing and accomplished the mission. When I got, got back to the, the base with the film the next day, I was called into the office of Major Florence J. Mansman, and uh, there were three people in gray suits standing in there. There was a 16-millimeter camera and a screen set up. Major Mansman said, Lieutenant, sit down and watch this. And he turned down the lights, turned on the camera, on the, the, the projector, and the film came on. And I recognized it as the film that we'd shot at Big Sur the previous day. Toward the end of the, of the flight, I was looking at Major Mansman saying, pretty good stuff, huh, sir? And, and uh, suddenly he said, just watch this. And as I watched, the, the, the warhead, the dummy warhead, the chaff that was put out in front of it as a decoy uh, to, to deflect uh, the Russian anti-missile missile tracking radar. But everything was flying along, and suddenly, in the same direction, this stuff was flying at about 8,000 miles an hour. You an object came into the frame, shot a, a beam of light at the warhead, flew up to the top, shot another beam of light at the warhead, flew around the direction it was flying, shot another beam of light at the warhead, flew down, shot another bo bo beam of light at the warhead, and flew out the same way it came in. Well, I don't see it. I Why said, didn't you see this when you were shooting it? Well, it was uh, six to eight hundred miles away from us. Oh, I got you. The only and they confiscated. The only they confiscated. Well, first of all, the, the major mansman said to me, "What was that? Were you guys screwing around up there?" I said, "No, sir." <laughs> and he said, "Then tell me what that was." And I said, "We got a UFO." And he said, "Lieutenant, you are never to speak of this again. As far as you're concerned, this didn't happen."